Welcome to this tutorial for the Kuro 787 in MSFS. This tutorial is from a runway start with engines on, and we've already planned a flight in the world map. A world map flight planning tutorial is linked in the description below. I recommend watching this video before you fly, pause it and take notes along the way, and then fly from your notes. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all in the fly deck, let's head down to the FMC and go to the initialize page. We'll enter our cruising altitude first, which is 26,000 feet for the short flight ahead today. We'll now enter a cost index, this can be between 0 and 100, the lower the number, the slower the airplane will be, but more economical. Double click the soft key next to 0 fuel weight to auto populate. Reserved, you can either put in a nominal value as shown here, or you can use an external tool to figure it out based on your fuel consumption and route. We'll set flaps to 15 as we can see, that's what they're set to by default from a runway start. If we double click CG, that auto populates, and we'll now commit our V speeds by clicking the soft keys next to the speeds. Hit execute, and our pre flight is complete. Over on the legs page, we'll be able to scroll through the flight plan, which has automatically pulled through from the world map. You can see here we've got a discontinuity, click the waypoint after the discontinuity, insert it into the gap and hit execute, that's how you remove any discontinuities you might have on your route, and we now have a full plan from runway to runway. Just check the auto brake correctly set to RTO, and that the spoilers are correctly set to unarmed. Next up is the autopilot panel. So flight director, auto throttle are armed by default, we'll activate LNAV, VNAV, dial in our cruising altitude, so 26,000 on that panel up there. We'll now make sure our stabilizer trim is correct. If that figure is white, pitch the nose upwards until it's in green. Okay, so we're ready to go. Parking brake off and throttles up. The plane will naturally start to rotate around your rotate speed at that point, just pull back gently on the yoke, raise the landing gear as soon as you have positive rate, and shortly after that, around 400 feet, you'll be able to activate the autopilot. As the airplane increases in speed, retract the flaps step by step. Along the way you'll notice the airplane might level off at some points during your climb. This is probably to obey an altitude restriction in the route, and as soon as it's past that restricted waypoint, it will automatically continue its climb. Additionally, as you pass through transition altitude in the country you're flying in, click the barometric pressure dial to set the pressure to standard. On the ND, if we zoom out a little bit here, we can see our top of climb, and I'll catch up with you once we reach it. When we reach our cruising altitude, the airplane will level off, and you'll see the VNAV speed enunciator replaced by VNAV path. While we're at cruise, we can sort out a few things in preparation for our descent and approach. So on the legs page, we need to find our bottom of descent altitude. This is usually signified by the letters FF, and then the number of the runway that you're flying to. So at our destination, it's 2,400 feet. So on the autopilot panel, we're going to dial in an altitude that's either equal to or below it. The airplane will of course maintain its cruising altitude until it reaches its top of descent, at which point it will begin its descent to the altitude listed in the FMC for that final waypoint. Just for convenience, I'm also going to set the auto brake for approach and landing while I'm here, and I'll also arm the spoilers. If we now click the initialize page, we'll see the approach ref page appear. We'll now pick our desired flap config and approach speed and paste that into the flap speed box. As you get a little closer to your destination, if you click the nav radio page, you should see your destination ILS frequency and course automatically populated. If it's not, no big deal. You can just enter the frequency and course as shown here and then click the soft key next to ILS GLS to insert it. When top of descent arrives, the airplane will idle the throttle and automatically pitch the nose down.
close to the destination, the airplane will start to decelerate. If you apply flaps as the airplane slows, eventually you'll be in landing config, at which point you can lower the gear. Again, as you pass through transition altitude on the way down, click the barometric pressure dial and hit B to set local pressure. Just before the airplane turns on to final, you want to activate localizer mode. And then once the airplane is established on the localizer, you see the localizer annunciator appear on the PFD. At this point, you can activate approach mode. After a short time, the airplane should intercept the glide slope and you'll see the glide slope annunciator. By default, you'll find that both autopilots are armed. This will give you an automatic landing. You can disable one or both autopilots as you prefer. 30 feet above the runway, the airplane will begin its flare and it will automatically idle the throttle. The 787 is quite a floaty airplane, but it will eventually touch down by itself. Upon touchdown, just apply reverses and the auto brakes will bring you to a stop. You can roll off the reverses around 80 knots. And that concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. Please drop a like, feel free to subscribe, take care, and I'll see you next time.